We're out in Phoenix, Arizona, visiting with POF USA, innovative makers of AR-15s and other guns. POF stands for Patriot Ordnance Factory, and the word Patriot here means a lot. It really started with my dad and I just, you know, when he grew up in the aerospace, watching everything started to get outsourced, losing jobs because of it, I mean, that really stuck with him. Because it affected him personally, affected his livelihood, so I mean, that was, when he started POF, you know, obviously we were doing some different things. That's when he was like, if we're doing this, we're doing it 100% American made. And we just stuck to it. I mean, I really think we're known for our 308 rifles and our piston guns more than anything. You know, we make DI products, but really what got us to where we're at is our piston systems. You know, I can't hide that. That's, that's our, been our bread and butter and what's got us here. Our best known guns right now that we're making are probably our 415 Edge and our Revolution piston rifles. Um, those are our best sellers and the reason is because of that piston system that we use. So the bad part about having a, you know, an inventive type as a father is they never really stay focused on one thing. So there's about 26 different products. My dad's half designed, three quarters designed. Uh, so we have a lot of stuff in the works still that our engineering team has to go to, you know, a well basically of knowledge there. It's just, what do you develop? What do you put your time into to start? Uh, so we're at POF in our engineering department. Uh, we've got four full-time engineers. Uh, this is where the magic happens. So pretty much any of the designs that we're coming out with start here. We wouldn't be as efficient out there if it wasn't for the guys in here. So this is pretty much where all of the uppers and lowers are gonna get made in our factory. Um, so what we're really known for, obviously, besides making the rifles, our manufacturing process. So when we make our handguards, we're using extrusion. They're all going on from Fanuc Robo drills on an arbor. I mean, we're getting complete rails out and not having to reduce setup. So a lot of what we're doing here as far as a machine shop side is trying to be efficient. Every gun that we built is going to get test fired um, before it's boxed. You test fire every gun? Every gun. Really? Wow. 10 rounds minimum. Unless there's a problem up front, they're gonna pull it back off the line, go through it, test it again. I think the next thing for us is we wanna grow, but we wanna keep that family feeling because for me, stay true to what we are. It's family business. We care about the people, they care about us. We build quality products and be different. We don't want to follow what everybody else is doing. So Cody, this is the Revolution. Yes, sir. That's our 308 piston driven uh, Revolution. That's our flagship rifle. And this is not a big, heavy 308. No, it's 7.3 pounds. Um, obviously, being that it's a piston gun, it's a little heavier than our DI offerings. But again, with the piston system, uh, this is our flagship rifle. And I think when you shoot it, you'll understand why. All right, and you said people are somewhat surprised at the recoil and how manageable it is. Yes, and the big thing with this gun, you're, we're running an AR, a true AR-15 carrier. The bolt is a little different, but it's an AR-15 carrier. Compared to an AR-10 carrier, it's a lot less weight. So you've got a less, smaller gas port. It's not as much force that has to throw that weight back. So it's a, shop, a softer feel in your shoulder than a true AR-10 style. Well, let me shoot it, because recoil is one of those things that you kind of have to feel to understand it. Yes, sir. I mean, it's like you hear it and you go, okay, that's a 308, but totally controllable. No, and that's, like I said, I was gonna show you the difference on the carriers. So this was our P308, it was a traditional AR-10 style carrier. This is the Revolution bolt carrier. The only difference is the bolt. And like I said, when you hold these and you feel the weight difference, imagine that coming back in your shoulder versus this. And again, Way different. And again, because the weight is so much less, we have a smaller gas port than, our, than any of our P308s ever did. So you don't have to use as much gas to unlock it. But I mean, there's some magic here because this is a traditional yes, AR-10 308 bolt carry group. POF, always been very innovative 
a lightweight, not bulky 308. I love that. And guess what? There's more to come from these guys.